What up y'all and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. For today's quickie meal prep recipe, I've got an amazing make ahead one for all of you that I know that your entire family is going to love. We are making some air fried breakfast egg rolls. I love this recipe so much because there's something about having something that's like crispy and delicious and kind of cheesy in the AM just to put a big smile on my face. And it's even a bigger smile because I know exactly what I'm putting into my body. Can I get an amen, Jesse? Amen. There we go. Now, the other day in the studio, we were having this large debate here about things that don't go well together. And Jesse, can you just share what you said that your wife likes to eat? Eggs and syrup together. Toast, syrup, eggs on top. I asked if she was pregnant again. <laughs> nope. <laughs> because he said, no, absolutely not. I made sure of that. Because that's just like an odd combo. I don't even like the, the McDonald's Mc, McGriddle or whatever that thing is called growing up just because syrup and eggs and sausage, they just, ugh, they do not go together. But I was thinking, maybe we can put that to the test today because if we make up the egg rolls and find a low calorie syrup, Dipping the egg rolls in the syrup could actually be, because it's crispy, could be something that's a, it's a new level for me. Yeah, we gotta blow your mind somehow. I'm gonna, yeah, or blow my taste buds. I won't be able to taste anything for months and months. Gagging. I know, oh my God, I'll be scared of syrup now. And I'm, now I'm off syrup now because of this, <laughs> because of eggs and syrup. And I love syrup, by the way. So we're gonna give that a test too. So if you're ready to roll up your sleeves for this amazing air fried recipe, and let's get started. Right. Now let's make these make ahead egg rolls. So the first thing we're gonna do is prep the eggs. If you're gonna be going the vegan route, then you can use some alternatives like some tofu or even that brand Just Egg. We're gonna add a little bit of personality to them. I've got the Fit Cook Everyday Blend. If you wanna put some, like a little pinch of sea salt, some pepper in there, some garlic and onion powder, you could do that too. But it's just easier whenever you just use my brand. So easy. Thank you, Jesse. All right, let's fire up a skillet. We're gonna be using a nonstick skillet. Pour in the egg. And we're gonna scramble this up. Since we're cooking these up for egg rolls, I wanna make sure that it's really nicely chopped up. You can turn it off. We don't want the eggs rubbery, but we do want them cooked. And let this cool down because we don't want to put the egg rolls together when it's piping hot. Let's prep the potato. So I thought instead of roasting the potato, why don't we just skillet grill it? Just gonna grate it onto a cheesecloth or a paper towel, fold in the sides. We're gonna squeeze out some of that excess water so that way it fries up a little bit easier in the skillet. We're gonna multitask because this is a meal prep video so I'm gonna save some time. I'm gonna fire up two skillets. To the nonstick skillet, we're just gonna lightly spray it. That's all we need. And we're gonna add in some lean turkey sausage. Chop this up as it cooks. And in our other skillet, I'm gonna add in a little bit of avocado oil. Add in our potato. Seems like a DJ. Oh, wicka, 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 wicka. Ow! Wait, don't say owl. Let me do that one more time. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh. DJ Kev in the house. Ooh, ooh. Jesse make this really, look really cool. Mm. Gonna add in some onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, pinch of sea salt, pepper, and continue cooking. So to this one, we're gonna add in our sausage. And here we're gonna add in our cooked potato. All right, it's looking good, smelling good so far. All right, now we're gonna add in some veggies, some color to it. So I've got some colorful bell peppers that I've diced up. Gonna take out some cilantro. Sprinkle some in both. A little cilantro here, a little cilantro there. A little cilantro everywhere. Ha! Look at that, y'all, I know I could rhyme. You know I had them bars. See, when I flip the cap around, all of a sudden, I know. And we're gonna mix everything together. And you wanna chop it up as you do it. Right, now let's make some egg rolls. So, we're gonna start out with our egg roll wrapper. So I've got some reduced calorie cheddar. I'm gonna put this right into the middle where we're gonna add the filling. We'll do mix and match. We'll do one sausage and one potato. Start out with our mix. Grab a nice spoonful of it. Take our finger, dip it in the water. Right here on the inside of it. Fold in this flap. Easily roll up the egg roll. Add some water here on the very top, on the tip, just to seal it closed, and boom. One egg roll. And then repeat this for the remaining batter. 
All right, now if you're making these ahead of time for the kiddos, then you want you to stop right now, don't do anything else. You're gonna roll them up just like this with the water, and then you're gonna take them and then place them in a sealable bag just like this, and then store them in the freezer. Do not cook them and then put them into the freezer. We're gonna eat these here in the studio, so what you're gonna do when you're ready for them, even if they're frozen, we're gonna just brush them with some avocado oil. I like using avocado oil just because it's got a high smoke point, it won't burn, and it gets nice and crispy. Now we're gonna place this in the air fryer for 12 to 15 minutes, and you wanna rotate them halfway at 375. And after about 15 minutes, voila. Beautiful. We've got some salsa. I got my arch nemesis syrup for something savory. <laughs> and we also got some guac. So which one are you? I think this is the, uh, the sausage one, the turkey sausage. Oh, wow. Look at that goodness. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna do mm -mm. Mm. One of my favorite thing. This is so good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is. It's really, really good. Ah. Oh. Mm, out. Woo! Let's taste the potato one. Let's see if we would dip it. Please, God, don't have anything happen to me when I dip this in syrup. I mean, I don't hate it. <laughs> it's actually okay. It's pretty good, right? It's on the good spectrum. Okay, that's good. I wouldn't say it's not on the pretty, pretty good. good. Oh my God, amazingly good. <laughs> it's on the good spectrum. Abby, you can come for dinner. <laughs> wow, it's bomb, man. Oh, it's so bomb. You gotta go home to her, that's why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's good. She said, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's for you, Abby. <laughs> Love that syrup, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, kids are watching this, and your kids are watching this. You can't take us anywhere. I uh, know. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that is it for today's video. I hope that you really enjoyed it. Not only is this a really good one, it's super easy to customize for your various goals out there. So again, if you're trying to go much more the plant-based route, you can use a cashew cheese as well as a chopped up tofu or a just egg. And if you want this to be a little bit um, heartier, you can add in things like some butternut squash or some sweet potato as well. The, the options are very endless, just keep it calorie conscious, all right? If you like stuff like this, then I invite you to smash that like button below and remember to subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, remember to ring that bell, y'all, so that way you can be notified every time we post hot new content here in the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. This is DJ Kev. Wicker, wicker, wicker. Are we still doing that? <laughs> you are. <laughs> <laughs> just you. Just in case we're clear, just you are doing that. Signing off until next time, y'all. Keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Ooh. Bye.